Okay, hello and welcome to ELA for today. For math, um, I hope that the lesson went okay for everybody. We, I'm sorry that I have not yet posted the review from the morning math. As soon as everybody has done that, then I will, um, then I will send it out. So once I've done that, just um, you guys, you guys can just kind of keep looking on the math wall for when I post it. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting on a couple, one more person to finish it off. So as soon as that happens, you guys will get it. For ELA today, it's um, two things. First of all, we're going to talk about um, the spreading kindness submission that you guys did. Um, the reason these need to be in is because on Wednesday, we're going to be having uh, Miss Cassie come to our ELA class and she's going to be explaining what we're going to be doing as kind of like an ELA art fusion project using what you have submitted. So people who, first of all, have your name highlighted, I have yours and it is accurate and it is correct, okay? Um, there are a few people, five people who I'm still waiting on, okay? So, good work. The people who have not done this, you need to go into here, spreading kindness with words, and then click on this document. <clears throat> then you need to fill this in, okay? So you're only selecting a few phrases or a few words that you are mainly going to focus on, okay? Um, and then why did you choose, why you chose this piece? You also have to say that, okay? Um, alrighty, so that's the first thing. <clears throat> now, the next thing is for our session today at one o'clock where we're going to be doing a selection or um, Ms. Erin and Ms. D are going to be talking about the courses for grade seven, your option course selection. And the way that you're going to be submitting this is through email. It's going to be through your CIS email. That's the only method that they're going to be accepting. So we have a job ahead of ourselves to make sure that everybody is able to connect on their CIS email. Okay. I have sent everybody in your inbox um, something that was like this. Okay, so here's everybody's. Your username, your, um, your email address begins with a number, okay? It is not starting with your name, okay? Then the second part is your password. I think it's case sensitive, so that means if it's a capital P, it has to be uppercase P, not lowercase, okay? So I really suggest that you write that down, maybe get like a big piece of paper out, put a highlighter around it, whatever, and then stick that somewhere so it's easy for you to access. Um, okay, now this is not Gmail, it's not Hotmail, it is with Office 365. It's a Microsoft program, okay? So I'm gonna show you um, how to access that, okay? So you go to just a normal page on Google and then you type in Outlook, or office, either one, three, six, five, okay? Probably office, okay, whatever, same thing. Office 365, okay? You might even need to press download, okay? It should be for free, okay? So then you click on it. Um, okay, and then you're going to press, oops. Okay, then you're gonna press sign in. Then you're going to type in whatever your email account is. Okay, so everyone's is gonna be different, whatever it happens to be, okay, whatever it is. At, and then what are they at? at cisabudabi.com, okay, dot com. Then it's going to go, mine won't work, obviously, because it's not one that I'm doing. Then you go next. Okay, uh, you're gonna have, see, I already have one, so I can't fully, fully show this. You would probably go click another user account um, and then you're just going to have to follow the prompts that it gives you. Okay. So 
hopefully that's at least a place to start. I know that there is, um, Rajavi has done this, Ibrahim has already set his up. So there's a few people in the class that have been able to do this without me even needing to give any instructions. So um, give it a try, see how it goes. And then we're gonna have our live session at one o'clock. Um, following Miss D and Miss Erin, because they only have half an hour to talk with us, it might not be about getting into the email, okay? Their purpose is to talk about the courses, talk about answering your questions, okay? Not so much the email. The email, if we can't figure it out by one o'clock, then we'll figure it out after one o'clock, okay? Um, yeah, so that's kind of the deal. They'll tell you this, but it does need to be submitted through your own personal CIS email, okay? It cannot come from your parents. It cannot be printed out, scanned in, send a picture. It has to be from this method, okay? So we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, see how it goes, and then we'll be in touch at um, one o'clock to see how you've done, okay? Um, the second thing, or I guess the third thing for today is if you're good with the submission of your poem, awesome. Send me a message if you have not received, if you want, if you, if I haven't given you back your um, newspaper article, you have to send me the request for that. So send it to me, then I will send you your newspaper article. And with that, if you're happy for yours to be read out loud to the class, I'd also love for you to know that, for me to know that. So just send me a message if you're happy for us, to, for me to share those with the class or for you to share those with the class. Um, we're going to be doing a sharing of kind of the top level work tomorrow. And then the last thing is Membeam. I would like everybody to practice getting into Membeam at some point before Thursday morning at 9.30. So I'm gonna give dojo points for people who have been able to log on because we're gonna shift in term three and, or term four to doing some vocabulary assessments using Membeam, okay? So I need to make sure that at least everybody's able to access it, okay? So your goal is to just log in before Thursday and make sure you do at least like, I don't know, five minutes. You don't have to have the full 45 minutes done by then. Okay, good stuff. So talk to you soon. Good luck with the emails.